Hello guys, Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install the third conversion kit on the E36 BMW M3. While we installing it, I'll just go ahead and also throw some spacers that I had laying around on the car. Follow me. Today we have a guest, we have my friend Crippen right here, he's also working on his car, not sure if you can peep the car outside, but I will take you guys there in a second. Now I've made a video already in the past where I show you guys how to install the start conversion kit on my F80 M3, the process is exactly the same way, so I'm going to link that up there. And then if you want to know exactly how to install, go ahead and watch that video. On this video, I'm going to go ahead and kind of install and just kind of walk you around so you can see the difference with the wheel without the stud conversion and the wheel with the stud conversion. And also when I add spacers, you will see how the, you know, the finished product look like. But before I start, let's go ahead and see what Crippen is doing on his car. So let's see what this guy is doing. He's doing some shit around here. He has a yeah. broken screwdriver. So I don't know, the guy that had the car spilled oil into these gaps right here. So I'm trying to clean it off. So I already cleaned this one, you can look at it. Yeah, so it's clean. So there's oil all over here. So um, I'm trying to get some paper towel in there. I uh, see. So just yeah, to suck the oil. I don't know if it was leaking or if I think it's someone he, just put was, oil yeah, when was incorrectly. The yeah, it probably. Just it's, it's, it's too much of oil to be a leak. So as you can see, the car here, it's is tuned it has an oil catch can right there charge pipe with a bov tire bov we located the intakes it has an oil cooler right there upgraded intercooler right there man this is easily pushing maybe 400 horsepower we don't know we have to dyno this car someday to figure out but yeah, yeah it needs a little bit of uh, attention because as you can see there's a lot of grease and nonsense so we need to do a nice cleanup yep 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 if you saw the tour of the video of the car you know that it's a great car but it has a little things that we need to address and yep Crippen is here he's gonna become a mechanic no i'm not a mechanic <laughs> man i'm just <sighs> lord have mercy all right let's go back now into installing the start conversion kit on the car as you can see here i am um done on this side all i have to do now is put the spacer so i'm taking this five millimeter spacer that is on the back and i'm going to place it here on the front so this is the spacer as you can see it needs a little bit of attention but i'm not going to do the cleanup right now because in the future i plan on swapping these rotors so when i do that i'll go ahead and clean up when i put the new um rotor in there so pretty much to place this five millimeter is just kind of like right so, but I kind of want to put a little bit of degreaser, not degreaser, um, that grease that you put here. I'm going to want to put a little bit of that anti-rust grease, I guess that's what it's called. Just to make sure that it is good before I place this right in here. Only if I can center that. There you go. Now for the back, I want to put these 10 millimeter spacers on the back here. And as you can see, while I was distracted by my friend Crippen, I went ahead and broke my little thing right here my little screw that i used to kind of tighten that because um i don't have my tongue crutch at home with me today so i was kind of like doing it by hand and yep over talk this is what happens when you don't talk to spec now i want to go ahead and place this 10 millimeters uh oh they're stuck together give me a second here as i was stating i want to put a 10 millimeters right here on the back if I can center these there you go like that and as you can see this one is a hub centric meaning that it has a little hub right there so the wheel will sit on top of the hub and the lugs right there so that's exactly kind of how it's going to be like this and I'm going to make sure that I put that um, anterior grease right here before I mount everything so let me go ahead and do that mount put the wheel and then you will see how you know the finished product look like as you can see this is the finished product it's looking really nice. I have to talk it again to 109. I haven't talked yet. And you can see that five millimeter kind of make the wheel poke just a tiny bit, but it's still way under the fender here. And I believe that once I lower, this is going to be perfect. Again, I'm running 225, 45, 17 here. 
and let's check the back now the back is nice that 10 millimeter provide that flush look if you see here like this see that flush look and i'm running 245 what size of these 245 40 17 yeah so i can definitely fit a 255 tire here in the back and yeah man it looks nice and you can see here this is the one that i need to remove that the piece it broke this is where i over talk but yep looking really nice i love it man i love it it doesn't really drastically change the look but at least you can see the tire is really fat the installation of the start conversion kit and the spacer is fairly simple this is a very inexpensive mod but it's very good for anyone that's trying to have a car that will be track used also it helps you mount the wheel pretty much and it holds the wheel pretty tight i love the look i dig it so much now of course i have to do like upgraded brakes and what's on whatnot that is coming in the future but for now i use the car on a daily you know as a daily and yes i just want to make sure that the engine is i'm getting accustomed to the engine and fix all the little kinks and issues that i mentioned on previous videos for this build on this note um how did you like this man drop a comment below if you like this type of video make sure that you subscribe and follow me on instagram after motors again see you on the next video thank you